Hi, my name is Liz Humphreys and I'm a water scientist Erie. So we're at Ackerman Lee's Agronomy Rice Challenge, the wet-seeded rice field. Establishments a bit, a bit patchy in places. They said some of it's due to birds, some of it's due to low-lying areas. So that's the first, one of the first issues with water management is wet-seeded rice currently is really sensitive to water. If you have too much water, the, the seeds die. And uh, so that's why you need really good levelling. And secondly, it's why we really need to get anaerobic germination tolerance into rice seeds so that the technology is less difficult and, and less risky for farmers. So this field was lucky after it was established, there was there were a few showers of rain which kept it going nicely. I don't think it's been irrigated yet, but Atkins just applying fertiliser. And so the ideal thing next will be to irrigate, to wash the fertiliser into the soil. Uh, one way to reduce the amount of irrigation water we apply to rice is to do what we call alternate wetting and drying. So this means we flood the field, then we let the water disappear, we let the surface dry down, and then we re-irrigate again. And the, the, anybody can do alternate wetting and drying, but the question is how do you do it safely so that you don't lose any yield because rice is so sensitive to too much drying. So over the years Erie's done a lot of research and, and they've found that if we let at, at the soil dry down below about 10 or 15 kilopascals, uh, soil, te soil water tension at about 15 centimetres below the soil surface, the rice suffers. But 10 or 15 kilopascals probably doesn't mean anything to you and it doesn't mean anything to farmers. Over the last 24 hours, since we got this beautiful sun and warm weather, the, the plants have really started to jump out, really started to, to grow. It's getting a bit dry, the water table's about 15 centimetres below the surface. So I see you've just uh, fertilised, so it's the ideal time to irrigate. Yeah, we really get water on. I can see when I walk through, there are patches where it gets pretty dry, and even some weeds are coming, so I'm getting quite worried. But there are also some low-lying places over there where it hasn't germinated that well. So I'm worried that if we put too much water on, we might even kill off more. You know? mm -hmm. So we've got to find the right balance. You know? But a little bit of water is needed now. Some really nice work with this really simple field water tube, which just shows you where the water table is. You could pull it out, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pull this out if I can. Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go and install one in, in the place okay. where it should be. 15 centimetres from the bottom, so you should push it into the mark. You can go a little bit further, it doesn't matter. Okay. Put it right in here. I know you get it straight, right? Yep. Oh, it's so easy. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, soft like cake. Okay. Okay, good. you're there. Now stick your hands inside and take all the soil out. What if somebody, something bites me in there? Oh, you'll be right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how often do you think I need to come out and check this? Oh, well, it depends on the weather for a start. <laughs> and, uh, it's, uh, but at least once a week, right? Yeah, maybe at least twice, once, maybe, once yeah. a week. Yeah. Okay. These soils oh. hold, the, hold the water pretty well and the water table is very shallow here because you're yeah. more or less surrounded by flooded fields. Okay, I'm going to so, come and look at least twice a week because yeah. I don't trust I'd, it. I'd, I'd start with twice a week because okay. you don't know what you're doing and once you get to know your field better, uh, then you, you need to look less often. Yeah, it's now a, a week later and we've kept the water in the field uh, on as a shallow water layer, just a few centimeters, uh, mainly because uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, we can avoid some wheat growth in the areas which aren't as low lying. So, so far it looks quite good. So we haven't been able to do a full alternate wetting and drying yet, but uh, we'll move to that once the canopy is closed. So, but for now we're gonna keep a shallow water layer and we'll see how the crop develops now during tillering. 